Assalamu alaikum student. Welcome to our online chemistry class of Cosmos School. Hope all of you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. This is our third class on periodic table. Today we will learn how the position of any element in periodic table can be determined by using electronic configuration which is very important question for your CQ and MCQ for your SSC exam. Um, elements, the name of elements with atomic number may be given and you have to find out the position of this element. What is mean by position? The position means the period number and the group number of the element. Uh, that means in which group and in which period the elements are present in the periodic table. Let's start today's class. But uh, before starting our class, student, I request you to bring your textbook and your copy with you. Because whatever I, I will write on board, you have to write in your copy. You have to practice with me. At first, determine the period. There is only one rule for determining the period. Uh, I have already discussed, discussed the rule in my last class. The rule is the highest energy level the highest energy level that means the outermost energy level of any element is the period number of that element and for this we use the electronic configuration that that's why we have to write the electronic configuration for example we can take boron which atomic number 5 that means uh, it has 5 electron in their uh, structure and uh, we, now we have to write the electronic configuration uh, which is uh, you have already learned at chapter 3 1 is 2 2 is 2 and 2 P1 and from this configuration we can see easily the outermost energy level of boron is 2. 2. These two have both s orbital and p orbital but the main energy level is 2. That's why the period number of boron will be 2. Uh, you can check it uh, in, in your book page number 62 and 63 we have periodic table and from this table you can see easily the position of boron. The position of boron is here and these belong to period 2. That means, is it? It is correct. I am correct. The period number of boron is 2. Uh, you can take another example. If we take sodium, if we take sodium, the atomic number is 11. That means, electron number of electron also 11. 1 is 2. 2 is 2. 2p6 and 3s1 and uh, the outermost energy level is now 3 3 and these represent the paired number of sodium that's why sodium belongs to paired number 3 and you can check sodium this is the position of sodium, the first member of period 3. 
Now, there are three rules for determining the column. Now, we have to determine the column. That means group. And for this, we have three rules or three system. At first, system one. System, system one say that if the main energy level, the outermost energy level contains only S orbital, then the total number of electrons in that S orbital will be the group number of that element. Can you understand? I repeat, if any element, the outermost energy level, that means highest energy level of any element has only S orbital in their electron configuration, then the number of electron in that S orbital will be the group number of that element. And for that, we have also have to write the electronic configuration uh, as example we can take okay uh, start with sodium 11 11 and 1 is 2 2 is 2 according to rule the electron configuration is like that 3 is 1 now for this element the main energy level that means the highest energy level is 3 this and this 3 number shell contains only s electron you can see only s electron these orbitals are for energy level 2 this is for 1 and this outermost energy level contains only s orbital and in this orbital, S orbital, only one electron is existed. Then the group number will be 1. For sodium, the group number will be 1. Group 1. Let's check it. Am I correct or not? Sodium, group 1. That means sodium is placed in the periodic table at group 1. Okay. Then take another example. Okay. Uh, we can take calcium which atomic number is 20. That means number of electron also 20. 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 P 6. Then to complete 3 is 2, 3 P 6 and 4 is 2. According to the rules of Rules of writing electronic configuration for S2 and total you can count to 10, 18, 20. Okay, then for that element, the outermost energy level is 4. 4 is 4. That means this 4 contains only S orbital and according to the first system or first rule the group number will be the group number of calcium will be the electron number of this 4, 4S orbitals electron number 2 that means the group number of calcium is 2 you can check it Calcium, the second member of period 4 and the third member of group 2. Group 
two elements. Then next we go for rule number two or system two. The system two is if the outermost energy level or the main energy level contains s and p orbital both s and p orbital then the total number of electron in s and p orbital with 10 it will be the elect will be the group number of that element is it clear student if the outermost energy level contains s and p orbital both then we have to count the electron numbers which are present in s orbital and the electron number which are present in p orbital and we and the total of these two electron numbers we have to add extra additional 10. Let's see the example. It will be clear to you more. As an example, we can see here argon, which atomic number is 18. Students, so that means the electronic configuration will be like that 2, 2p, 6. 3s2, 3p6. Complete. Huh? 10 and 8. 18. Here you can see the lowest energy level. That means highest energy level is 3. 3. But 3 has 2 orbital. S orbital and P orbital also. And now we have to take this electron number and also this. And we have to add these two and with that add 10. That means the electron number which are present in this 3s orbital which is 2. The electron number of 3p orbital is 6 and then add 10 with it and is equal to 18. That means the group number of argon is 18. Am I correct or not? Yes. Group 18. You can see group 18 argon. This is argon. The third member of group 18. Now we go for the third system. The system number three says that if the outermost energy level has only S orbital in their electronic configuration but before the last S orbital there is D orbital of the inner shell then and the in this in d orbital of inner shell has electrons then we have to count the elect total electron number in the last s orbital and we have to count the uh, electron number present in the d inner d orbital and add them to find out the electronic find out the group number of that element for example, we can take scandinium. Okay, the atomic number is scandinium is 21. That means number of electron is also 21. And now we have to write the electronic configuration to 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 then. 3p6 and 
3D and 4S. 4S2, then only one electron is left. 1, D1. In this electronic configuration, the outermost energy level, highest energy level is 4. But the last electron goes into 3d orbital. That means the inner d orbital has electron. That's why we have to count this electron. The electron which are present in for the last s orbital, 4s orbital. And with it we have to add this 3d electrons. Then this total value will be the will be considered as the group number of that element. Okay. 3D contains one electron. 4S contains two electron is equal to three. That means the group number of Scandinavium is 3. Let's check. Where is Scandinavium? This is Scandinavium. The first member of group 3. So, we are correct. Then, take another example. By practice, you have to add up this. Okay, another one, take copper, 29. Okay, the number of proton, 29. Students, can you remember chromium and copper? Chromium and copper, these both elements show exceptional electronic configuration. Okay, let's We have learned about that in chapter 3. 2. 2s, 2. 2p, 6. 3s, 2. 3p, 6. 3d, and 4s. Okay? Here, 4s, 1, but 3d, 10. 4s incomplete, but decomplete. Because complete orbital or Fulfilled orbital or half filled orbital are more stable for and to get the stability one electron from this 4s orbital 3d takes one and now we have to consider according to uh, system 3 here the last s orbital is 4 and the outermost energy level is 4 this 4 uh, energy, energy fourth energy level contains only s orbital and but it had in a d orbital okay this d orbital also contains con electrons then we have to count at first the s electrons then these d electrons and add them 4s contains 1 electron, 3d contains 10 electron, adding them we get 11. That means the group number of copper is 11. Let's check. Group number 1, copper is present. Okay? That means by applying this by applying these three systems or three rules we can easily determine the group number of any elements in the periodic table. Students all the rules are explained in your book very clearly and properly. You will have to practice them and in your book there is also oh, a chart is, is given 
you have to solve this chart and try to find out the position of those elements in the periodic table. That's all for today's students. Assalamu alaikum.